So one of the next things that I think I'd like to do is to get this uh, flywheel off. And the best way to do that is I've got this ring, it's a lifting ring, but it's a kit. I'll show this to you. I'm gonna thread it out. Here's the ring, and that just threads down the top of this this bolt, and it comes as a kit. has a couple of pieces to it. So you got <clears throat> this that's going to push against it and it threads down into here. So that drops that drops down into there pushes against the bolt, crankshaft bolt, and then that's how you uh, how you get the flywheel to pop off. I've tried a bunch of different ways and uh, it's a bugger. So there's a nut on top of the flywheel on the crankshaft and uh, the best way to get it off is with an impact wrench and uh, I'll hook up that, go ahead and get the nut off, and show you how that, that works, so that you can, I can thread my thing on there and try to get that off. So, let me power up my compressor, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my impact gun, and spin on that nut, and here we go. If you don't have an impact gun, you might as well give it up because that dude's a bugger to get off. Now hopefully, it's going to spread that in there. Big crescent wrench, big enough to get around that bolt. and hold it. Nice. 
so much easier to do it that way. See, otherwise, you'll never—I mean, you'll like to never get that off of there. And that's a stator, so it's got a magnet. And that's how that comes off. Of course, you got this. I'm not really worried about top bed center and all that. It's keyed. There's a keyway. So when you put that back in, it's going to be right on. Uh, of course, we got our our belt. We'll go ahead and take that out. Uh, I'm sorry, we can't take that out. We have to take this stator off, or alternator off. We can inspect it. You can see it's got cracks. I mean, you know, we might put some epoxy there. I need to test it, make sure it's good. Just take some super glue and uh, or some epoxy, and we can clean that up. So that's got a burr. Clean this up, and to take that off, there's four really small bolts, and uh, anyway. That's looking pretty good. So, put this back up in my thing so I know where it is get this guy off a little socket set and it should be five sixteenths and it is I don't want to lose these bolts. <laughs> They're expensive. I think it's a, like 12 bucks for a set of four of these. Worst case, I have another alternator stator. I think I checked it and it was checking good. When you put these in, you really want to use some Loctite. And it's super, like five pounds or something. It's not a lot. Torque settings, anyway. 
And then what's holding it on is I got two. I got these brackets. I'm gonna come off with a screwdriver. Held on by the net. Crap. Alright, seven sixteenths. Start that over. Alright, so I'll just lay it on its side, bit this up a little bit with a screwdriver, seven sixteenths. Yeah. And now it's loose. So we'll put this back. We got it. So there's the alternator, stator. Like I said, I'm gonna check that guy. So, we'll stand it back up. We're gonna take our four screws and put them in our bag. I'm going to put this in a separate bag actually. I'm going to put this whole stator and everything in there. Just don't want it to get messed up somehow. See that guy is on the floor. Alright. Get our old bulb off. Take a look at it. And the belt actually looks pretty good. But if it's been stretched, I may get a new belt. Probably will. Take our nut, just so we know where it's at. And now we're in pretty good shape. So probably the next thing I'm going to attempt to do is go ahead and get this plate off. And that will probably be a pretty good challenge. Oh, take our screw. Let's just put it back where we found it. 